Hey there, it's Lime at the Toy Temple, and today I'm taking a look at Marvel's Doppelganger Spider-Man from the Build-A-Figure Molten Man wave. And this spider doppelganger is terrifying. It's super creepy. On the side, we've got some really, really scary artwork. Look at those teeth. Man, it looks something straight out of a horror movie. A weird, misshapen head. Ooh, he's scary. But... Doppelganger Spider-Man is an evil, mindless duplicate of Spider-Man infused with a supernatural energy by the Demogoblin. The six-armed doppelganger has deadly claws and can shoot razors, sharp webbing. Now, that is, uh, that's somebody I don't want to mess with. In this wave, I'm probably going to pick up the entire wave outside of uh, Stealth Suit Spider-Man. Maybe that's Spider-Man. So, I'm literally out of a Spider-Man wave, not going to pick up two Spider-Mans. The Molten Man Build-A-Figure, super unique. It's ugly, misshapen. It's got a giant rod poking out of his arm, which I think is uh, the other arm. <laughs> Who does that come with? Number two. Uh, stealth suit, so I'm gonna have to pick that up somewhere else, but Scorpion looks good. Spider-Woman, one of our most requested. Doppelganger, that's that guy. Hydro-Man, and Mysterio, and Spider-Man, but I'm excited to get Doppelganger out, take a look, and uh, I hope he doesn't bite me. And I hope you'll join me. And here is Doppelganger out of the package, and he looks so scary. And we've seen this body mold before with the six-armed Spider-Man from the Kingpin wave, but looks like they improved upon it slightly, just ever so slightly. So, first thing I want to talk about is the eyes and the face. So the teeth, they're sharp, but I feel like they could have been, you know, more protruded, further out, instead of just what we got here. And obviously, I mean, they did well in making the chomp action, but maybe some jaw articulation would have been good. And the eyes look really great. They're very, very shiny, glossy. They look great. But the most important thing on a Spider-Man figure, no matter if it's Doppelganger or Peter Parker, is the webbing along the body. And they didn't do it. And I know there's a lot, but come on, just touch it up a little bit. You know, it just looks like it's missing. And maybe if you took a black wash to it, or maybe if you just took a Sharpie and did each individual line, but you know, it just doesn't look right. So I might have to do that later. I don't know. Is it, uh, is it worth it? Let me know down in the comments. But the rest of the figure, he, uh, he's a very crazy looking figure. I like the design, and actually my very first memory of Doppelganger came from the video game Maximum Carnage on Super Nintendo, where he stomps around and just tries to claw at Spider-Man and Venom, and oh man, he was scary back then, and you didn't know what to expect. But paint-wise, you know, the red, dark, sets him apart from the other Spider-Man figures you have on the shelf, and the joints, they've got these little red dots, and I might have to just cover those up with some blue just to, I don't know. That's, uh, it, you know, it just looks like he's got kind of a, some weird articulated chicken pox going on. Maybe, I don't know. The feet look great. They've got claws. They do not pinch, so they can't grab onto anything, which is weird. Uh, no ab crunch, which was an issue we saw with the other six-armed Spider-Man because it's the exact same mold. So, you know, you can't have him properly clawing at anybody. You can swap, in case you don't want that combination out of the box. They are interchangeable, which is nice. So, you know, they're not all different sizes. They can work. And actually, that just, uh, one, two... So you got three fists and three claws. That's odd, but I would have done a little bit different. But that's not up to me to decide. Going down, he does have double jointed elbows on each of his arms. Bicep swivel on each of his arms. And the shoulder rotation on each of the arms is good. It's really good. I like the design that they chose to uh, make that function, but to get rid of the ab crunch on a Spider-Man figure, Unforgivable. Maybe they could have added butterfly shoulders up here just to make them, you know, that much more flexible, but, you know, it's, uh, it's rough. And of course, he does have the hinge on each individual wrist. Thigh swivel, of course. Leg goes back and forward, of course. Double jointed knee, I would hope so. Boot cut, 
Yes, he does. And what a boot cut. Wow, look at that thing go. And does he have ankle rockers? He does. And ankle pivot in spades. So it does take a bit of effort to get him into a crawling motion. But I don't know if that's enough. If he had the ab crunch, he could bend his body, you know, forward and then really get that, like, look to him. But otherwise, it just looks like, uh, I don't know, is that is that decent enough to call it crawling? I don't know. You know, he doesn't even have a hand that does that. If he shoots the razor sharp webbing that you mentioned on the packaging, maybe include some sort of web accessory that shows that. Let's get him next to another Spider-Man just for a size comparison. And here's your size comparison between both Spider-Man 2099 and the classic butterfly shoulder perfect articulation Spider-Man outfit. And you've got Doppelganger who looks a little smaller. You'd think that he'd be much, much larger, but he's, uh, he's a little bit on the small side for a monster. So what are my thoughts on Spider-Man Doppelganger? Well, he's missing quite a bit. He's missing the uh, paint lines. He's missing accessories. The face is good, but not good enough. And not to mention the articulation, a little off. So for that, I'm going to give him a 2.1 out of 5. He definitely has some merit, you know, being a unique Spider-Man villain. And he's going to pair well with all the other Spider-Man villains I have. But... In terms of the intimidating, monster-like, animalistic force that is Doppelganger, he is just super duper tiny, and I feel like they could have gone a little bit bigger. You know, make him really just monster-esque. I think actually, he might even he might even be build a figure worthy. I don't know. So maybe ten years down the line, we'll see an actual good representation of this. But for now, it's passable. So with that. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. How did you know Doppelganger? Let me know down in the comments. Maybe you played Maximum Carnage and he threw you around like a rag doll. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.